this. Okay, this is so very easy. I made a double recipe in the oven, and that's what's going to be on the website. I emailed it uh, yesterday, but we're going to do a half recipe right now in one of our smaller casserole dishes that we've lightly sprayed with Pam. We've taken three eggs that we've beaten, and we have two cups of self-rising cornmeal with about half a tablespoon of salt in there. We're going to add one can of cream-style corn. You, you're so organized, it's amazing. <laughs> well, it, this is just so easy to do. A fourth of a cup of uh, diced jalapeno peppers. I where, hope, I hope where, that's enough. Where's the cayenne pepper? I know you've got it somewhere. <laughs> no, not in this one. Then we're going to add, this is sharp grated cheddar cheese. So we've got eight ounces of it. And I always like to buy the block cheese because it's so much fresher. Mm -hmm. And the already shredded cheese, they have to put some type of uh, oil on it to keep it from sticking together. You were telling me about that, that yeah. it's, you don't want to do that. You just want to buy it and shred it yourself. Yeah, it doesn't take but a minute to do. And then we're going to add our wonderful freshwater prawns. These are raw. All we've done is shell these. We've thawed them in cold water. And show everybody a package of how we do our prawns. That's right. And we just bought some more of your catfish the other day, my wife and I did, because we're cooking the Italian-style baked catfish for my parents for Easter. They're oh, coming over to our house Sunday. Wonderful. The Parmesan catfish that we did a couple of weeks ago. Right. You called it Italian-style whatever. The Italian, right. And we're going to do that because I've been talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. It's the best recipe ever. Well, Grace at Sunflower called me yesterday from Indianola, and she said people are still coming in and getting the recipe from her and getting Lauren Farms catfish because it is one of the best recipes. It is. I hope I don't disappoint my parents. I know I won't. But as soon as you mix all this together, now you're going to put some... We're going to put a third of a cup of oil. We're going to mix all of these wet ingredients. Then we're going to blend in our cup of self-rising cornmeal, put it in a casserole, bake it at 375 for 55 minutes, and just wait. Welcome back, everyone. The time now is 6.50, and Clayton is on a roll this morning. <laughs> he is making us laugh. Oh, here goes that mystery Easter bunny. He's popping up as we get closer and closer to Easter. Hey, I feel like the Easter bunny this morning because... Uh, this cornbread does not taste like cornbread. Jonathan and I have been just going crazy over it. I've already had two pieces. Actually, I've eaten pretty much all the that whole bottom of it. Except for Jonathan, he got a little piece of it. But this is a great recipe. You sent it in, so we'll be getting on the website. Just tell us what makes it so good, I wonder. Oh, the prawns, of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> of course. And when we took a bite, or when I took a bite, she said, does it need more jalapenos? I was like, no. No, I took a couple more bites, and it didn't need any more jalapenos. But uh, Ryan, show us a bag of the prawns out of the That's freezer. Right. But the recipe is so very easy. It's just uh, two cups of cornmeal, one pound of Fresh Lauren Farms freshwater prawns, and you can contact us at 662-390-3528 or uh, Lauren Farms at yahoo.com and we've got all different sizes and great recipes for a locally raised product. And it is good. Thank it, you. This would be, this, as Jonathan said, this is great for a cold morning. Oh, it is. And you could actually serve it. This is great for tailgating. It'd be great for Easter with Easter ham. And uh, let's see, oh, I think Clayton, Clayton's wanting to get a shot of this. Yeah. But it's just an absolutely delicious casserole. Two cups of cornmeal, a little salt, uh, some um, jalapeno peppers, a fourth of a cup of jalapeno peppers, uh, one medium onion chopped, 16 ounces of grated cheddar cheese, two-thirds cup of oil, and two large cans of creamed corn. You know, I never even taste the corn in there. Well, it, you know, sometimes I'll actually put one creamed and one, you know, drained whole corn in there, too. So uh, it gives it just a little bit of extra texture. But uh, very easy to put together, uh, really good breakfast casserole. It's great for tailgating because it's just as good cold as it is hot. And that, I, is that Bopper's Tailgate Party Cornbread is what <laughs> yes. it's called. 